Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tip top is called Dynamouse the Card Game. It's for two to six players, ages eight and up, takes about 20 to 35 minutes to play the game. In the game Dynamouse, you're going to be having a hand of cards and you're going to try and make the best dino mouse possible. It's the combination of a dinosaur and a mammal, in which case you'll have maybe a tiger and a stegosaurus, and then you're going to smoosh them together and you're going to create this Stigersaurus. And if you can do that, you win the game. You're going to start with a certain amount of cards in your hand, and as you draw cards from the deck, you're going to be able to do certain things, like switching cards, removing cards from the game, or simply getting exploded on by a smash, or getting stuck by a smush card. And different things are going to occur to you throughout the game, while you're trying to obtain the best dynamo possible. If you can do that first before anybody else, you win the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get. So here's what you're going to get in the game, Dino Mouths. And as you can see, it's going to be a plethora of cards, a box, the rules, and and then you need some of these tattoos you can get as well. I've went ahead and shown you all the different actions that can occur, as well as the two different, two, two of the animals and dinosaurs, as well as the kind of smushed dino mouth that we have right here. And as you can see, there is a plethora of other guys you'll be getting as well in the game, a huge stack of cards. Let's go up and go up and tell you how the game begins and uh, how you play your turn. On your turn, you're going to start off with a hand of five cards, and these five could, could range anywhere from actions to animals to dinosaurs, as well as the dino mouths, and some other cool things as well. When you start the game, however, there's two cards that you're going to remove from the deck, the stuck card and the smash card, and then you're going to add them to the deck after everybody's gotten their five cards, because those things are negative cards, and you don't start the game with any negative cards in your hand. When you begin the game, just choose one player to start, and they can play any cards they want from their hands that are actions. They're also able to choose one card from their hand and call it dibs on it, but it has to be a dino mouse. So like this one right here, a tough but huggable triceratops. And that's simply a triceratops with as a hair. You go ahead and put it down on your turn. You have only have one. And the only way you can get rid of it is if somebody removes it or you choose to remove it with a card in your hand. Other cards you can play are like snag where you can draw two cards from the deck or steal where you can take a card from another player or swap trade any card with another player. And you're going to be playing the game until you're able to get your smush card, the animal, the mammal, and the dinosaur along with having the dibs of the card you need for that in order to happen to make that that make that dynamo basically and you only be drawing after this everybody's gonna draw one card at the beginning of their turn so you're always going to be getting only one card unless you play an action card and all of your mammals and dinosaurs will stay in your hand and the rounds will continue let me show you a couple turns of play Okay, so we're going ahead and drawn out for three different players. They each have their own five cards, and they're always going to be sh not showing anybody else their cards. These are going to be hidden cards, but for the sake of the review, I'm going to go ahead and show you them so people can get a good idea of how the game works. Okay, there we go. Ooh, interesting. Now, everybody has their five cards shown. The person who goes first will just choose this player here. He's going to draw a card, and then he's going to choose a card, that, if he wants to, to call dibs on. So far, he has the giraffe here, so he thinks he will call the Aposaurath into play. And that is going to be in front of him. He calls dibs on that, which means all he needs is a giraffe, an Apatosaurus, and the smush card. He's also able to use any of these cards he wants. He can save them and end his turn, or he can play them. So he's going to use the snag card. It'll allow him to discard that card and draw two new cards from the deck. And, oh, as you know, he has gotten another action. This is a stuck card. Whenever you draw a stuck or a smash card, you have to do what it says. And this one says to instantly end your turn. So this is going to get discarded, and his turn is now over. The next player is going to get to go. Maybe they'll go ahead and call this one here a raptorcorn, which is a raptor and a unicorn. And if he wants, he can go ahead and trade a card with somebody. Maybe he'll save that. And uh, oh, also he got to yeah he, he had to draw a card to at the beginning of his turn. That, that's also important. <laughs> the next player is going to also draw their card, and they can play something. Maybe he'll choose his Penguinosaurus Rex. He can snag by drawing two more cards from the deck. One and two. Oh, that's useful. And then he can choose if he wants to shuffle the deck. Uh, he can't play this one this one sharp dressed cat, the Stegosaurus. And he could swap if he wants, and he has the smush card, so if he gets the if he gets the penguin and the Tyrannosaurus Rex, he'll have this card ready to go. Maybe he'll swap, so he'll trade a card with another player. He doesn't need this card here, so he'll simply trade this card face down. With one of the players, he'll choose this guy here, and this player doesn't need the hair, so he'll go ahead and trade that. And he also, these guys are always face up, so he will know what cards they have called dibs on, so they don't want to give the cards that they need to their player's hands. And he's going to be done. He's going to end his turn. It didn't help him. And the next player 
Oh, actually, it would be like this, sorry. And then the next player is going to get to go drawing a card. He got the Smush card too. So now he's got Giraffe, Smush, and his Dino Mouse. So all he needs now is Abbotsaurus. That's all he needs to do. So he'll probably trade, right? He'll trade with this player here. He'll get rid of this hair he doesn't need. And this player doesn't need this one, so he'll trade him that one. All right, nothing new here. He can't play anything now, so this player is going to get to go. And it's going to continue like that. Oh, a unicorn now. So all he needs is a raptor and a smush card. And players will continue until one of these three players gets all of the cards required to make their uh, dino mount. And once that occurs, the game is over, and that player has won the game. So just before we get into the review, let's talk about a couple caveats. There's three cards I like to talk about, and the first one is the smash card. It's like smush, but worse. You lose your turn, and you have to empty your hand and draw five new cards. So you can lose all the cards you been saving throughout the whole entire game if you get this card it's rather unlucky however if you draw a smash or a smush card you're gonna put those back into the deck and draw two new cards you're not gonna be getting another nasty card after getting one so that's a good thing there's also these swipe cards there's a red one and a blue one and they do different things this one you can ask everyone for a specific animal and this one you can ask everyone for a specific dinosaur if they have that they have to give it to you so that can help you get your dynamo parts that you need in order to play the game so what do I think about dynamos well this game is a kids game it's a game that's very similar to games like Uno, games that have a little bit of take that card games, which, has, which also has a little bit of hand management. It's a little more than those games because it has a little more strategy. And while there is reverse turn order and stuff like that, it's very unlikely you're going to lose a turn. There's only a couple of the nasty cards in here, so that's kind of a bonus in my opinion. The game doesn't make you sit around waiting for your turn. The gameplay is quick and easy. It's definitely a family-friendly game, and there's a ton of cute little animals in this game. The art is excellent. I really, really enjoy this artwork. I think it's funny. I love the Raptacorn, the Penguinosaurus Rex, the Apatosauraf. Uh, they have a whole bunch of things. This is the Triheratops, and it just works really well for the theme. You're just trying to smush together an animal, a mammal, and a dinosaur to get a dynamal. And that's the game, that's the name of the game, right? And that's how it kind of functions. So if you have kids, if you have a family style party night or a family game night, this is gonna be one of those you pull out. Definitely not a huge amount of strategy. It's definitely a take that game. There are others like this game that I have seen that I've played that have similarities, but this one has a couple unique aspects to it. The art is good. If you like the theme of the game. It's definitely something I would check out. So go ahead and look up in the description below Dynamouse and see if it's something for you.